missing that key player on your team and do not have the coins to afford them, make sure you check out Buy Mug Coins for instant Madden coins and always use code SAVAGE for 10% off. Yo guys, what's going on? It's Savage here. Welcome back to another episode of everybody's favorite. It is Road to Red Paint and if you guys have missed it, Road to Red Paint is now a daily series. I am so excited, man. We are going to be uploading Road to Red Paint pretty much every single day of the week. Guys, if you are excited for Road to Red Paint every day, make sure you guys go ahead and smack a big fat thumbs up on the button man i really do appreciate it man i'm so excited to be doing this because this is just this is the most fun i have on madden it's the most interactive i am with you guys and when i can be interactive with all of my beautiful people and i can be having so much fun on madden at the same time it's just a win-win, man. I mean, there's no L's there. And I'm just super duper excited to be making this decision. So, guys, with that being said, in the last episode, we did force a nice little rage quit. We got up to 28 road to red paint points, which isn't a lot, but it's not a little. We actually are making a pretty sizable upgrade today. I am really excited. We are getting ourselves a brand new defensive lineman because that right there, we definitely need. As you can see, offense is pretty tough. But as for the defense, the defensive line definitely needs some upgrades. So even after this episode, I really do want to focus more primarily on the defensive line getting upgrades. And today, guys, we are going to be upgrading the defensive line just a little bit. We're going to be upgrading Bradley Chubb to 86 overall. Team Builders, Margus Hunt. Shout out to Sean Billman getting 53 likes on his comment he is six foot eight with 84 speed absolute freaking unit bro he is a freaking unit we're going to be spending a pretty a fair amount of road to red paint points on this upgrade you guys got to remember bradley chubb is actually an 84 overall he is not actually a 79 he's just a 79 because we play him out of position so it only costs us i believe 11 upgrade points don't quote me on that however many road to red paint points i just took away that is the accurate amount and for anybody sitting there right now who might be new and is like what is a road to red paint point go on over to my channel click playlist go to road to red paint season three watch it from episode one to where we are now and you can go ahead and pick up on the series quite quickly uh it's a very fun series it's a very interactive series as you can see i choose comments from you guys out there that get the most thumbs up the most replies the most interaction within my community within you guys you guys are always helping each other thumbs in each other's comments up replying to each other who i need to get on the squad and stuff like that and it's super dope to see you guys interact man you guys are all the gms of this team i'm just the person using my thumbs playing with it so if you are new around here and you want to get involved be sure to go ahead and subscribe to join the savage squad drop a comment of who you think we should spend our road to red paint points on to further upgrade the team after this episode but i'm gonna stop rambling and bambling we are about to hop into another game with the road to red paint squad i am more than excited man because we're going freaking daily Top into this game, man. Yo, the team is looking tough. The team is looking really tough. I, I want to make it look tougher. Let's get this dub. Well, we definitely got ourselves a game right here. But, yo, I, I ain't nervous. I'm really not nervous. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready to freaking catch a W. I'm ready to keep the win streak alive. I I'm ready to stay hot with the RTRP squad, bro. Let's get it. This guy's got a team, and he's coming out in Trey Y Flex right here. Have got to be ready. And there it is. First play of the game, man. Ed Reed with a big sack. I am all for it, guys. That is what we're going to need. We're going to need this team to really be explosive on defense, especially when we get in matchups where we know our opponent's team outweighs us tenfold. Right there, LT getting in the backfield. LT and Ed Reed both causing a bit of a corruption. I don't know if that is the right word, but we, we used it in the sentence. It looks like he's just trying to get a little glitchy with the crossing routes, man. I mean, I can't blame him, bro. I can't freaking blame him for that. But we are just, dude, you know how you beat crossing routes? You give your opponent no time to let the routes develop right here. Let's see what he is doing. 
we are screaming with who else than Lawrence Taylor, bro. He is an absolute unit on this team. Gonna bring him for the 22, and he's going for it. I have no idea why he's going for it right here. I mean, we are literally just bagging this entire scheme right now. Bagging this entire scheme. He's giving us the free user lurk, and we might honestly have the speed with Jabril Peppers, man. Diving into the end zone. Let's go, man. Well, our opponent is out of Trey Y Flex right now. He's coming out a little bit of I4 Pro right here. But dude, that Joe Brill Peppers pick six. User Lurk 6, that's so big, man. That is so many road to red pain points early on in the game. And that is just so clutch right there. Anthony Brown going up against Odell Beckham Jr. I tried to make Calvin miss right there so I could maybe try to get a little bit better field position. But I'm not mad at it. We're pretty much at midfield already. Let's try to keep the offense. Let's, 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 I almost said keep the offense cooking. I forgot. We haven't even been on O yet. We're already up 7. I guess you could honestly say we got to keep the offense cooking because over the last few games, man, we, we, we have been cooking. We have been eating up with the O, man. I definitely, like I said, I really do want to focus on, you know, upgrading the overall of the defensive line. Like, I really want to get the defensive line to even if it's just like 82 overall, something like that. I just want to upgrade them because they haven't gotten, they, they haven't been upgraded since the very beginning of the series. And I just want to make sure that we can upgrade them and really just maximize, like, you know, our, our ability to run either Sheddy or Blitz. Like, I want to be able to run, like, the best of both defenses right there. That's going to be a pick. Tyree Kill got bumped pretty bad right there by Marsh. Or, uh, who was that? Kyle Fuller, actually. So that sucks. But yeah, I definitely want to upgrade the uh, defensive line a little bit more. But at the same time, I want to get some red cams, man. I would really like some route runners. Our opponent just got a delay or a uh, false start, rather. But as I was saying, man, I would definitely like some route specialist cams on the squadron. Definitely would like some route specialist cams right there. Denzel Ward with the interception, man. He's making it looking better without tip drill. I would definitely like like deep route specialists or playmaker or something. Definitely want to get that involved on the offense. Third and 31. This cover zero blitz with this guy's team is definitely putting in the work. And right there, Josh Allen can't hit a simple slant. It's coming out in bunch wide right here. I got to be ready for everything. It's going to be like verticals. It's just verticals. It's verticals. We are switching on to Harold Landry, forcing QB pressure. He's 0 for 7 with three INTs, and he's taking three. And this guy is just still running these cover zero blitzes. So, I mean, you really you can't blame him. But right here, we got Calvin Johnson, who is going to go ahead and ag on Pat Pete. And, like, literally, I just... I just ran through Pat Pete. Now up two scores, and my defense is so glitchy that they, or my offensive players are so glitchy that I can just run through defenders at will. Super confused, like super confused. Paul Krause is God. He just got an INT, and I think we might be seeing a rage quit. We might be seeing a first quarter rage quit. We might be seeing a first quarter rage quit. This guy is throwing four interceptions. He doesn't have a single completion. Look at him. Zero yards, zero touchdowns. What are we doing? Elected not to quit. I appreciate that. I'd rather, I'd rather get a bit more road to red paint points in this game than deal with somebody rage quitting against me. Let's see what he decides to do right here, though. Let's see exactly what he decides to do. We're going to aggressive catch right there with Calvin Johnson. Beautiful play. We are three for five. We have thrown one I in INT, but we do have a nice long passing touchdown in this game as well with Josh Allen. Going to go ahead and we are going to execute this hurry up offense as best as we possibly see fit. Let's see exactly what we could do right here. We're waiting. We're waiting. I think this is cover freaking four to be honest with you. I'm rolling, I'm roll, I'm running with Josh, and Josh is falling forward for about four. I think I might be able to sneak one to CMC out the backfield right here. CMC out the back. And we get hit as we throw it. A shame. A real shame in the world. Here we go now, second and four. Let's see exactly what he decides to do. He's running, he's running, he's taking off with Vic. Why not? I mean, you got not. Fumble? He fumbled. Pick it up. I don't know why he was doing all that spinning like this guy actually had stick. He didn't. Give me a dot right here, bro. Give me a dot. Give me one, one dot, one time, one time. Set your feet. Like, are we good? Like, oh, are we good? 
Like, are we good? Yeah. Here we go now, second and ten. Let's see what he decides to do here. Is he gonna just roll around with Vic? Probably, probably. And yo, know, he's gonna die. He's gonna bomb it to uh, Anthony Brown. Anthony Brown gets a interception for the squad. And Anthony, oh my God, why was he so slow? I wouldn't have taken it out of the out of the end zone if I knew he was gonna be so freaking slow. I was like, Anthony Brown's got like 95 speed. He's got my back. Like I, I thought for sure. Sure, I was gonna be able. Oh, that's a freaking instant beat. He just won off the line. He won off the line. Calvin Johnson. Calvin Johnson to the 25-2015. Damn, bye. 95 yards in one play. Calvin Johnson just said, "Get off of me, Pat." Pete, one, two, three. Touchdown, baby. Let's go. I make a play right here. Cannot let him score six. I refuse. I refuse. We got the slant. We got one slant. We're covering the other slant. And he really threw that. Josh Jones, man, he's been on the team since the beginning. He's been on the team since the beginning. Josh Jones turning on the Jets. Josh Jones, and he is gone, baby. That is another Lurk 6 for the Road to Red Paint squad. And we are just stacking our points all the way up. Coming back out in Trey Wide Flex. I wonder if he's going to try crossers once again. No, he does not. We got the dagger covered, though. That play, I'm like 96% sure that was dagger. Let's see if I was right. Was I right? Was I right? Let's see. Is it going to be crossers? Is it going to be dagger? Is it going to be verticals? Could he run level sale? Who knows? It is going to be verts. And we are just screaming. We are just screaming. We're just screaming. We're sacking. We're eating. We're laughing. Let's go. It almost rhymed. I'm going to try to score, but if I don't, I'm going to settle for three. I definitely want to just chew clock take our w i do not want ea sports to influence anything that could happen but right there i think we're getting six yes we are calvin johnson in the end zone once again thank you very much i want to live in the land of the lost i want to live in the land of the lost I just want to live in the land of the lost. I just want to live inside the land of the lost. Is he going to quit? Who knows? I do not. But if he quits, I will be kind of happy. You lost, cheese man. Two, two, eight, nine. Guys! We did it. We did it in style. This guy really threw four times the amount of completions to my team. Than he did his team. He had two completions to his team, eight interceptions to our team. Guys, I hope you guys did enjoy this episode. I definitely did because we just flooded. So far, this this is this, this the second head-to-head -head season of Road to Red Paint season three. We won 30 to 14, 14 zip, and 35 to 3. A shutout, and I guess you could say a flood, and then like a minor flood against Sebastian. I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, smack a big fat thumbs up on the button. Remember what I said, though. Definitely want to focus in on that D-line. Want to focus in on maybe getting some playmaker or deep route specialist. Something like that. I know you guys. You guys work your magic in every single video. Help each other out in the comment section. I trust you guys. I hope in the next episode we see massive improvements on that D-line. And maybe if we got enough points, nice little playmaker, nice little deep route specialist. Definitely appreciate it. Love you guys. Have a wonderful rest of your night. As always, fellas.